Hey everyone, welcome to Age and Republic and it's not 5am, we're at a decent hour <laughs> and we've got a special guest today. So Suzanne, do you want to introduce our little friend here? Yeah, well before we do that we should probably introduce ourselves. So I'm Suzanne and this is Claudio. Claudio, yeah sorry. And we're super <laughs> excited to be having our guest today, Jodie, and Jodie's going to tell us a little bit about herself and really today's focus is how do you stay energised as an agent and Jodie is definitely the person that you need to see. So do you want to give us a bit of an introduction as to who you are? Yeah, and thanks Susie. Yeah? Um, I'm Jodie Bees. I'm a nutritionist and a clinical um, naturopath. Uh, my background obviously is through psychology and health and then it led me onto the path of being a nutritionist and a naturopath. Cool, I need to see you. I'm looking yeah, forward to our interview exactly today. Right. This is exciting. Come on down, can come I, on down. Nick, can I have my notepad? I didn't <laughs> this is good, I can't extreme. And having um, sustained energy obviously leads to optimal function and I guess that's what the real estate agents need optimal function. Yeah, exactly they, right. Because a lot of these guys, uh, Jodie, they, they, they get up early, mm. Um, mm. The, a lot of highs and lows during the day. Like, you know, they're on a high when they do a deal or, or, or get a listing, yeah. on a low when they may have missed a, a listing or the deal fell through. Uh -huh. um, and also long hours, you know. Yeah. So, what are some of the advice you could give to the guys or, or our tribe out there a little bit about, you know, to manage those energy levels, eat well, etc.? Yeah, sure, sure. I think the best number one trick would be. How do you start your day? Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, clearly, you guys, well, how do you start your day? <laughs> 5 a.m. at yeah. the gym. Yeah, really tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice and early. Yeah. yeah. Well, you yeah, know, obviously, um, you know, studies have shown that early rising yes. and um, leads to optimal function. Okay. But you've got to ensure that you have a good night's sleep. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, what time do you guys go to bed? If you're rising up really early, you've got to make sure that you go to bed at a reasonable hour. So, I'm normally in bed like. Look, 9.30, 10. Perfect. So I feel like six, six and a half hours is good, but I'm always mm. hearing these, like this main theme of you've got to sleep for eight hours a day. Is, yeah. is that something that, you yeah. know? Yeah, well, exactly right. I think your body is very different to Susie's body. Yeah. Right. Okay. And so what your needs are may differ, obviously, what, what mm. Susie needs. Okay. So I think by seeing a health professional, even working it out yourself, how much do I need to function? Mm. I don't believe in life, um, work-life balance. Yeah. I believe in finding the balance for you and finding right. the balance for you. Exactly right. So yeah. what I need as a pregnant woman is very different yeah. to what you guys need. Did you say you're pregnant? Yes, I am. Oh, how Five. good Hello, oh, yeah. yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So it's obviously deciding, okay, well, what do I need to thrive? Yeah. And starting the day with, you know, really nutrient dense breakfast. I yeah. think often busy people, including myself, we can go, you know, jump in straight away mm. training session, then straight in the car off to work and we forget yeah. to really nourish ourselves. Yeah. Starting the day with a really nutrient dense breakfast, protein, fats, carbohydrates, okay. nice set. Um, and then that gets you, that leads you on to. And, you know, and, and why that type of breakfast in particular? What does that do? Does that keep my levels up in the energy yeah. while I'm not going to get like high and then I'm going to get on a low in a couple of hours? Is that the, the whole? That is, yes. And I think um, it's very important that when we have carbohydrates, whether it's vegetables, whether it's bread, cereals, nuts, that we make sure that we team it up with, with protein. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and fat. So okay. That will help us have sustained energy as opposed to spiking if you have your cereal and then say 11 o'clock you're down again yeah. then you need that yeah. coffee hit. Yeah, so yeah. it's making sure that you know if you do have some cereal or some say some oats you yes. pair it with maybe some berries which is your carbohydrates and then you pair it with your nuts which is your fats and uh. then obviously your milk. I oh, like fantastic. That. So could you give us some other examples? Because a lot of the guys are on the run. Like they're up early, they're out, they've got meetings on, mm. and sometimes having oats and berries might be a little bit tricky. What can they do when they're on the run? Yeah, so I would say <laughs> planning is the key. Yeah. Yep to everything. So um, what Kevin and I do, obviously we're on the, on the go running two businesses pregnant. Um, so what I do is I make a big batch of like omelette mix. Yeah. So cool. chuck in a whole lot of eggs, chuck in a whole lot of vegetables, mix it up, salt and pepper, season it, and then divide it into like egg muffins, right. put it in the, in the fridge, oh sorry, yeah. put it in the oven, yeah. let it cook, then it's in the fridge and I literally pack it in my bag, I'm off. That's a really good way. Yeah. So and how long would that last in the fridge? Oh, a week. Oh, oh, perfect. Wow. So you Beautiful. could like do it once and use it multiple times. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Lunchtime. What are we yeah. doing for lunch? Lunchtime. Because these guys are on the go. They want something quick. They're in the like, car. Yeah. Okay. So yep. do you, are we packing? Are we preparing? Or we're eating out? I would. Ooh, good ooh, question. A few of them eat out. Number yes. one. Yeah. Because the, the ones who are like on the go all the time. Yeah. yeah. And then there's some of them that like to bring their 
I suppose, lunch from home. Yep. So probably give us both ways of what you do. Sure. So nice, efficient, out. quick way would be <laughs> to pack your leftovers from dinner yep. as your lunch yeah, for the next good. day. Cool. So you're only cooking one meal and divide it by two, yep. so cooking bulk. Beautiful. The other thing is if you're on the go, find the best places that you like mm. to eat with the great nutrient-dense sources. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, in, in the city, I always go to Thrive because I know that how where they get the ingredients from mm -hmm. and how they put their meals together is something that's sustainable mm -hmm. delicious and very nutritious yeah, right. so cool. I think you know work with people or even look up okay what area am I going to these are the places that I should eat mm. great right. and the good thing with that is that a lot of the guys have got assistants and things like that so they could do that research for them so just like I guess that could be a really good thing to add to your day that there's a pack on not only what you have to do for the day but where are you going to eat for the day which would be really helpful yeah and then night time, like, you know, some guys just skip dinner or things like that. Or well, they work what, what, late. Yeah, they work late. Anything in particular to, like, sometimes a lot of them go out to big and have a big dinner and a big, at a restaurant, you know, and, like, you feel full. And I've done that. I've been, you know, I've been really bad at that. And I'm trying to get better. But, yeah, yeah. you know, what would you recommend at night just to sort of, like, to finish and complete your day? Yeah. <clears throat> so, obviously, you don't want to eat too close to sleeping time. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. how, many, how much time should you... I, I would give at least two to three hours, right, and that's okay. being generous. Okay, you know, many right. health professionals would say a lot before that. Right, okay. um, you need time for it to digest, and plus it might keep you a little bit stimulated and won't right. help you unwind. Um, try and aim for the same time of day, like mm. eating dinner. Okay. Um, I so guess routine's is, important? Routine is important, okay. and I think that comes into your planning as well, mm. but I respect that sometimes it goes out the window and you have to roll with it and not be too stressed about it. Then you set your it. body clock up, right? Well, that's exactly right. Perfect. Love it. Um, and I think, once again, finding out your sources. I mean, I have a whole list of restaurants and in my area that I say to clients, look, go and source these out. Yes. Yeah. So have a list, you know, speak to your PA, yeah. um, your assistants, get that list. So if you're eating out and the other thing I guess is there's so many quick meals that you can prepare mm. when you come home yeah. and it's um, just educating yourself on those quick meals. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, and just having, I think, you know, we do a weekly shop, making sure that everything's at home so you can quickly go. Mm -hmm. There's so many different um, amazing, you know, big boxes that you can order now online. Just gets delivered. Even freshly homemade meals yeah, can perfect. be delivered, like dinner Love ladies that, that can that. be delivered to you and you've got a full nutrient-dense meal. Fantastic. Okay, yep. so a couple of recommendations. If you're in the eastern suburbs? Do you yes, want to tell me, where, where, where are you based? Yeah, I am in the eastern suburbs. I'm based in Double Bay. Double My Bay. clinic's in Knox Lane. Knox Lane, what's the name of your business? Bees Knees Life. Living Bees the best Knees life, life ever. Write yeah. that down, guys. So Bees Knees Life. Now, if they can't get to you, because we've got clients that are interstate and all over Australia, sure. um, any good websites that they can go to or recommended books of recipes that they can find? Yeah, I guess, yeah, there's, I mean, there's so much. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things about um, our health professional. There's, there's so much health information out there. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And so I think that's why it's really important to see a health professional to find out what suits your body okay. and where to eat. You know, are you a vegan? Are you a vegetarian? Are yeah. you paleo? Are you Whole Foods? Where where it is, and then we can give you the list. Okay. If you go to my website, I'll have a list there for you of Perfect. different websites. That's probably the easiest. And that way, if you are vegetarian, you can go to these sources. If okay. you are Whole Foods, you can go to these sources. So probably we can, the easiest way. We can way. provide that in the show notes, so you'll actually get yeah, to be able to click on that as well. link. Yeah, that's the fine. other question that I have for you, and I know we've spoken about this a few times, is bookending your day. Yeah. And I think this is really important because I think sometimes when we look at energy, we think about sleep, exercise, and nutrition. But in all seriousness, energy is more than that. So can you tell us a little bit about bookending your day and why that's so valuable? Yeah, I think that was the biggest gift that someone has ever oh. spoken to me. It was by an naturopath, one of my teachers, is starting your day the same way every single day. So where, And it's like anchoring it, so starting the day. So I would say for me, obviously I run a tea business, I have a cup of tea and I mindfully drink it. And so my body knows, okay, it's the morning. Jodie is mm. drinking her Be Energized. She's sitting down, she's having a moment to contemplate. And it only takes five minutes to literally to drink. Yeah, yeah. Or that morning, every single morning, you get in the shower and you take five deep breaths. Yeah. So your body knows, boom, this is my morning, it's starting. So no matter if it starts at 4 a.m., yes. 5 a.m., 10 a.m., mm. your body knows this is morning time and doing the same thing at the evening. Yeah, so yeah. I use tea once again, this particular tea, be dreamy, and I sit there and mm -hmm. it's the closure of my day. Whether it's 12 o'clock midnight, yeah. whether it's 9 p.m., your body knows, you know what, this is my night time. It might be a nice bath. I think self-nurture is a big thing and I think it's the first thing mm. that goes off. Yeah. the list and it can be so small we can do something that's very small even just stopping even in the car 
like closing yeah. your eyes and mm. just taking a big breath, just one. It will take two seconds mm. and then you're, you're off again. And this is what I like about this because oftentimes we get told the hour of power or set your morning up and they're these really long rituals yeah. and we don't always have time for that. So having a cup of tea, and I'll get you to talk about your tea as well because this stuff <laughs> is the bomb. Yeah. Um, having a cup of tea or taking a deep breath, they're things that you can anchor in, which is really important for setting your day up right, but they don't have to take so long. So no. if you have a day that's relaxed, you can do it. If you have a day that's jam packed, you can do that and your body has something for you and you're starting with you first. Yes. So tell us about your teas. We've got be free, be energized, be playful, mm. be clear. Why is this tea so important? Yeah, so obviously I'm a herbalist, a naturopath, and we treat by using obviously nutrition, nutrients, vitamins and minerals, but also through herbs. And um, mm. I think be clear is probably very applicable in this situation. <laughs> um, this one is full of um, medicinal herbs that really increase circulation. Oh. So circulation to your brain, helps yep. with brain fog. Oh, also oh. got some, you know, herbs that nourish you, but lift you up too, so to keep the energy. I'm going right. to order a couple of boxes. I've got a couple of clients yeah. that might need to be exactly. a bit fogged up. At the moment, they need a bit of clarity at yeah, the moment. So yeah. I don't even get a couple of boxes of that. Well, have you ever heard of the saying "clarity sage"? Yeah, yeah. There's sage in there. Oh, cool. oh, perfect. Love why, it. why do we wear rosemary on Remembrance Days mm, to help us remember? remember. So they're, ah. they're the particular herbs that are in that blend. Um, so each. Um, each blend is formulated for a t particular reason. Fantastic. Beautiful. And they can go to your website and buy the yes, teas as well? Yes, teas.com. Fantastic. Cool. Now, like just it. one other question. There are a lot of ages that drink a lot of coffee. Yes. And I'm, I'm <laughs> like, I love my coffee, okay? Yeah. And I'm, I'm bad. I can drink two to three a day. I start my day with a, with, a, with a coffee. I start my, <laughs> with, with an espresso, right? I don't know. But I love, like, what's your advice around um, having coffee? I, I love it. Sure. And it's just... To me, it's like it's soul enriching. Like yes. if I'd rather die happy than you know, if, it was that, <laughs> if it was that bad for me, I'm going to die happy. You know what I mean? No, so, I agree. I so, agree. So just tell me, yeah. like, for, there are a lot of coffee drinkers of out there in real estate land. Mm. So you live in Sydney. Yeah, Sydney. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, anything yeah. you could give a round advice around how many coffees we should have or shouldn't have, or times of the day, etc. Around yeah, coffee. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. So I drink coffee. 100% oh, of love, me. We love you. Yes. We love you. <laughs> yes, it makes life a great place. And I do it because of connection. And I think that's really important. That's an aspect of health that you don't want to eliminate. No. If you feel good doing something, then let's do it. Yeah, let's find yeah. a way to be realistic and function. Cool. Yeah. So um, caffeine, yes, yeah. that's a whole different topic. <laughs> <laughs> we could spend a whole episode talking about caffeine. Um, but I think one a day is great. Okay. You know, and statistically and looking at the papers, one a day is great. Fantastic. And it, it shows, you know, through all different studies that um, it's actually health enriching. Mm. Yes, because on the media this morning they actually said coffee drinkers can or coffee can cure some forms of cancer. I'm not saying that. Yeah. I'm just saying what I saw in the media this morning. I was like, wow, like they're really pushing that coffee can actually be quite good. Yeah. But I guess it's like everything, everything in moderation, right? And where it's sourced from. Yes, from. exactly. Has it, is it fooled with chemicals? Yeah. Is it from a purer sense? Yeah. Is it, where is it imported from? from. How do they make it? Mm. So they're the things that I would probably mm. go into detail about. That's How much chemicals great, and exposure are you putting in your body? Point, great quality, point. Yeah, quality, yeah, quality, yeah, quality, quality of a quantity. Yeah, totally. So what I'm hearing is really to be in order to stay energized, you've got to plan the night before, get sleep, also plan all your meals. Yes. Yeah. Always have quality over quantity. Always. And if there was one like super juicy tip that you could give the guys, what would it be to wrap up? Um, okay, I'd start the day nourished hydrated, yes. sleeping well, yeah. optimal function. Perfect. Perfect. I like some it. great advice. Hey, Jodie, thanks for joining us today. Thank on you Age so Republic. much for having me. <laughs> well, guys, there's some great tips that we've heard here today. I hope you've enjoyed it. And hey, Susie, well, yeah. was that good? I liked it. Beautiful. I liked it. And if you guys really love this, make sure you share this video. And we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Talk to you soon. Bye. 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 <laughs>